Now, we are very well aware that, you know, ransom attacks are real and they're becoming so much more sophisticated as we go along. I was actually just joking around with the speaker a little bit earlier on that you'll hear from. And I said to him, maybe it's also because some people have a lot of time on their hands during the pandemic. But on a serious note, let's not sit back at this time because it, they are getting more sophisticated and we need to ensure that we protect our businesses. So today we're going to talk about data security and ransomware. What I will take you through is really some of the trends that we're seeing. Talk about the anatomy of a ransomware attack in general. You know, what's happening before, during and after the attack. And then conclude with some of the solutions that we have, how they work, what they protect against, and how customers are using them. There's a couple of things that we're seeing that are concerning. We've seen recently a decrease in dwelling time. And we've seen in some cases that dwelling time falling to under a month. And we think it also means that those attackers are becoming more confident, more brazen. Of course, there's the first part, which is when the data is encrypted and then they'll ask for a ransom. But then it's threatening to publish the data. It's threatening to sell the data to competitors. But obviously, data being published means potentially for organizations, say, greater scrutiny just in general. What we're seeing as well is some organizations that will say, okay, I work in a hybrid manner. I have some of my data in my data center, some of my data in the cloud. But what I will do is I will build a data bunker that I will own. And I will send data both from what exists in my data center and what exists in the public cloud into that data bunker. And this is where I will implement immutability. This is how I will protect the data. 